In Excel, there's a very useful feature called subtotals. When you have a list in Excel and you want to group data and at the foot of each group sum one or more columns, this is when the subtotals command becomes very useful. First of all, I'm going to click in my list and then I'm going to click the data tab in the ribbon. Off to the right hand side in the outline group, you've got a button called subtotal. If I click this button, this wee window pops up. The first option says add each change in, and if I click the drop down, it lists all the column headings. I'm going to leave it on forest. At each change in forest, I would like to use the function sum, so I'm going to change the count function to sum. What I then want to sum is not the treatment because that's text in column G, so I'll untick treatment, and I do want to sum the area treated, so I'll tick area treated. At each change in forest, or the foot of each forest, it will automatically sum the column area treated, so I'll click OK. And here you see the result. At the foot of each forest, it has automatically summed the area treated. In the left margin are very handy little minus buttons where I can collapse by hitting the minus and expand by clicking the plus. If I then use these little buttons 1, 2, 3, the 1 when clicked shows me the grand total. The total area treated is 86,400. If I click the 2, I can see the subtotals and the grand total. And if I wanted to expand one or more forests, I just click the plus. So I could expand Kaingaroa to get a breakdown. If I hit the 3, I see all the information expanded. If I then want to remove the subtotals, I'll go back to the data tab in the ribbon, click the subtotal button, and click the button remove all. And it's removed the subtotal function.